we about to do a video from a person we ain't did a video from in like a year, man. So I'm glad to see he back doing his thing. Cash Cola. This video is called Gabe Pru Pruitt. Pru Hold on, let me find out what, what this is. I'm about to have my computer say it. Hold on, y'all. Gabe Pruitt. Gabe Pruitt. This is a music video shot by Michael Kidd, directed it. Produced by Kirk Green, so you know I got a strong feeling this is about to be a banker, bro. Matter of fact, let me go look up Gabe Pruden. He might be a sports dude. I don't watch sports. So if he is a sports dude, I knew it. He played for the Celtics. So this probably finna be about getting green. I don't watch sports, so that's why. Hey, it's crazy. Dude played for the Celtics. The jersey is green. The thumbnail, the lighting is green on Cash Cola doing the middle finger. Anyway, we about to get into the video, man. It's two minutes and 18 seconds, so this is going to be a quick one. I got hip to Mac Dre late. I didn't start listening to Mac Dre till I don't know. It was real late though. But E40, I came up on E40 too. I've been listening to E40 since I was probably born, like a, for a long time. It's been at least since the '90s, and I'm a '90s baby. I was born in '92, and I've been listening to him for a long time. I know a lot of people not gonna uh, be able to relate to that because they probably. Didn't start listening to E-40 till Tell Me When To Go. But I was listening to E-40 since way before Tell Me When To Go. Way before. My bitch better than baby kids. Caught up with your man doing dirt. You gon' say it's his. It's a synthetic. He won't tell cause he don't exist. Grew some stupid gas, but he got seeds. I know my girl a piss. Let me switch it over. What you niggas on? This big fucker hole 50. That's a stick with stones. And I guarantee them two to threes to break your bones. I had to cut the leeches off and now a nigga on. Please don't call my phone. On the money, watch if they ask the type of time I'm on. I love my niggas cause they sliding with me right or wrong. Pray to God before I go to sleep, trying to write my wrong. This the last 10, I need all cash for it. My nigga put up fast, he spent his last for it. But he ain't tripping, he gon' double up his cash from the stack. Most spend a little on re up on the bag, dummy. We get the load and shrink, wrap it like a damn mummy. Fuck all that petty bullshit, I want the damn money. My nigga said he fucked up, I threw some grams to him. Popped up in three days with all cash, like bro, I ran through it. My hustle game fluid, your hustle game foolish. You was supposed to sell the shit. Why the fuck you use it? Just caught a fight out to LA, my rally. You were supposed to sell the shit. Why the fuck you use it? Don't get high on your own supply, man. Stay cool, stay cool. I need some good old green houses for the game cool. Game cool. For the 13. He said for the Gabe Pruitt, 13. I was wondering where the Gabe Pruitt was going to come into play. I thought the whole song was going to be about money, but it makes sense because he's talking about weed. Weed is green. Money is green. Gabe Pruitt jersey is green. This shit got damn near triple on top. <sighs> Excuse me. Don't mind me yawning, man. I just woke up probably like I... A little over an hour ago. But anyway, this shit 
was dope. But y'all already know, man. Every time I gave y'all a Cash Cola video in the past, which probably was only like two or three videos, I was fucking with the shit, man. So, this ain't nothing new. Like, he fit really well on them uh, Kurt Green video, uh, beats. So, I hope he get some more. I hope he do more shit with Kurt Green because this shit was... This shit was definitely an A plus, man. I fuck with the beat. I fuck with the flow. I fuck with what he was talking about. He was talking that talk, you know. He was uh, I like where he shot the video. That shit looked very classy. Like wherever the fuck he shot this video at, it was real classy, real elegant looking. It didn't look. It looked like some places you might like go for a walk with your girl or some shit like that, man. But I like I like how he was just. Smooth on the beat. That's one thing I know about him is he just every time he get on the song he's smooth. He don't do too much, but he can still grasp your attention. It's not like ah oh, damn turn this nigga off. It's like okay I, I'm fucking with this. You know some people gotta do certain things to get people attention. It's a lot of people who gotta like be loud on the song to get your attention, and it's some people who gotta like be more aggressive and add more rage to their vocal to sound more appealing or to grasp attention but cash cola every time i hear a song by him i just listen and i just you know i'm fully involved in what he's saying and like i and then i just get to listening and you know that's that's a uh, <clears throat> that's a good trait to have anytime you can rap and not have to do too much and still keep people's attention you doing something right. Because in today's world, motherfuckers try to do something different instead of just doing what they do and just letting it work for them. And he doing what they're doing is, and he letting it work for him. He been rapping for a minute and people been fucking with his shit for a minute. I've been fucking with his shit for a minute. All the way back, Dream Team shit. Like the, like the, the cover, the mixtape cover that they had where it was on the porch and it was like all red out. I've been fucking with that shit since then, man. So shout out to Cash Cola. Keep doing your thing, bro.